<laughs> you know what I mean? So. Then, so you graduated from, from art school with your, what was it, an MFA, you said? BFA, BFA. BFA, so. And what was your then first uh, professional work as a photographer? Um, so it's hard to say at this point because I had been doing, I had been picking up little jobs while I was in school. Um, so I was third shooting for a wedding photographer in the Bay Area. I was assisting some people. Um, I assisted a really good food photographer out there. Um, and then I started working as a second shooter for this company called Open Homes Photography um, in San Francisco. And I learned a lot about shooting interiors in a very short period of time. Um, but I graduated in 2008 and the housing market died. <laughs> so all of a sudden I had to switch gears, you know, um, because things were going well. I was shooting tons of houses, um, beautiful homes in the, the Bay Area. And then um, everything kind of tanked. So I found a company in, based out of Canada, out of Vancouver, and they wanted me to shoot hospitality because hospitality was doing all right, despite the fact that um, the housing market had crashed. So I started shooting the Pacific Northwest region was my region. And I was shooting hotels and casinos and resorts, that kind of thing. And not all of it was very glamorous. Some of it was like the days in and some of it was, you know what I mean? So, um, but I was on the road a lot in 2009. Um, I was gone at one point for three months straight. Yes, because they, it was the summertime and they couldn't find anyone to cover the Midwest. So I flew into Iowa and then I um, drove through many, many cornfields. <laughs> Somehow, you know, like I drove all through the Midwest. I spent a bunch of time in Michigan where I got to spend some time with my uh, in-laws. They're now my in-laws, but at the time they were just my fiance's, you know, parents, right? Um, but it was lonely staying in these hotels every night, a different city every night, like not knowing where I was waking up. So after a while, I just started, when I was in Michigan, I just started staying with them every night. It was just it was nice. It was homey. Um, and then I got really sick. I got H1N1. <laughs> like not, not fun at all. I was in Indianapolis shooting a Homewood Suites for, you know, for Hilton. And I got really sick and I was kind of, I didn't know what to do because I was staying at this hotel in order to shoot it, but I couldn't finish shooting it because I was so sick. And I didn't have anywhere to go because they were paying for my hotel if I was shooting, but not if I wasn't shooting. And um, so Jeremy's parents, they got in a car from Michigan and five and a half hours later came to get me from Indianapolis. Like, and they, they took me back to their place to recuperate for a little while because I couldn't fly. Um, so that was 2009. <laughs> How long did it take you to recover from H1N1? You know, because I didn't catch it right away, even though I got the prescription for Tamiflu, it was too late. So I really don't even remember the first couple of weeks after I got it. Um, I would say I recently realized I was at my in-law's house for a week, but I thought it was like several weeks. And I don't even remember anything about the time there other than getting my prescription, once in a while getting some chicken soup, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and then they put me on a flight back to San Francisco at the time, Jeremy couldn't come get me because he was at Tokyo game show. Um, so I just had to fly home by myself. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was a mess. It took a long time to recover actually. So 